What if I told you there's a fundamental problem with gaming that you yourself have experienced before? However, it's this same problem that makes video games special. And in fact, without this problem, the gaming industry would have stagnated 40 years ago. So what is it? Well, let's find out. Check out this level in Celeste. It's the first level in the game and it's pretty fun. But what if I told you it would get stale relatively fast were it not for additional mechanics? For example, see these moving blocks? This first one is easy, you just hop on and wait for it to reach the end of the track and you're good. Next, you have this one that if you stand on like the first one, you'll hit the spikes. So now you have to ride the platform and jump at a specific moment. This one forces you to hold on until the last moment and use the momentum to clear this gap. And this last one asks you to jump from one moving platform to the next using the momentum of both to progress. This is basic game design, right? It's a new idea being introduced into a game where you previously just jumped and dashed. Well yeah, and it's great. But what about the thumbnail? What about the title? How exactly is this a problem? Well, not all extra mechanics like this are created equal. Let's look at a game that perfectly demonstrates this. I replayed Super Mario Sunshine a few months back, and throughout the game I constantly noticed the fantastic ideas on display. Things like the Mecha Bowser boss fight where you use a roller coaster to blast these rockets at Mecha Bowser. It's a really fun fight and probably the best part of the game. But at the same time, Sunshine had these levels that just didn't make sense. Levels that took their ideas a bit too far. The boss that best illustrates this point is none other than the iconic and rather goofy King Boo. The King Boo fight introduces a totally new way to play Sunshine. Instead of just blasting things with water, you're playing slots. You're gambling. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I love to gamble. But just like when I gamble, this boss fight takes a fun concept, goes way too far, and by the end of it, I am both miserable and filled with regret. You see, the problem is this fight relies too heavily on this new mechanic. You lose that core gameplay that brought you to this point in the adventure, and it's replaced with everyone's favorite mechanics, waiting and RNG. In trying to prevent the game from getting stale, the developers went way too far and lost what made Sunshine special. So, solving this problem all comes down to balance. Balance is the whole idea behind classics like Avatar and is a critical part of everyday life. You have to balance how much you work and how much you relax. You have to balance what kind of food you eat, how much time you spend with other people and by yourself, although I admit nowadays that balance can feel pretty one-sided. And of course, this balance transfers to video games. I can't stress enough how much I respect developers that try and fail to make something new, something different, something fresh, because without these developers, we'd still be playing games that looked like this. You need to try new things to progress, but at the same time, these ambitions will create problems. It's just about balancing these ambitions with practicality to create a truly engaging experience that never gets stale or frustrating. So sure, gaming's biggest problem might be something inherent that we can never fix, but it's a problem that comes from the will to do something greater than anyone else has. And as far as I'm concerned, that's a great problem to have. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like the video if you liked it and subscribe to support future content like this. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.